Spring is often the start of a very busy wedding season, but in the midst of the coronavirus outbreak, many couples are postponing their ceremony. But what does it mean for the venue that you booked or flowers, DJ, and a photographer joining us live via Zoom with some advice for couples is Matthew Treadle from The Wedding Guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're doing fine here, but for people who are planning weddings, probably they're not doing so well. And this has to be a crazy time for the wedding industry. So are, are most people just kind of rescheduling their weddings? You know, it's interesting. About 42% of people are staying with their date. Uh, most weddings um, in Minnesota now happen in the fall. So um, we're just starting to get into wedding season now. So there were obviously cancellations in April um, and May, and we expect cancellations into June. But a lot of couples are actually um, deciding to kind of see where things go. Um, a good portion of them are looking at keeping their date um, if they can. Um, a lot of them are also choosing to um, kind of change up how they're um, planning their wedding and how they're going to execute that. A lot of people are actually wanting to keep their same date, but might be moving the celebration itself. So they might get married on the date they planned um, and what we're calling micro um, weddings um, and then celebrating with all of their friends and family at a, a date later when we can all gather again. So, you know, booking a venue usually has to be done months in advance, but so most venues will still have openings for the summer and you have kind of a list, I guess, of, of venues that are going to be open uh, on the yeah, website? So, so one of the things that we recognize is the venue is one of the biggest challenges um, to kind of putting this puzzle together, especially for couples that need to postpone their wedding. So what we did is we put together an entire list of venues that have open dates. Um, we've listed them by weekend. Um, most weddings now are happening Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that's what we've listed um, on our website. You can go to theweddingguys.com um, forward slash find the date. Currently we're the venues, um, but we recognize photography is another category that um, is really important um, as well, because most of those um, service providers can only do one wedding a weekend or one wedding a day. Um, and so we'll be rolling out a list of photographers that are available for the rest of the year as well um, this week. Okay, so you mentioned photographers, but what about florists? We know that's the, you know, a wedding is big business for florists. Uh, how are they handling this? So one of the nice things about like florists and bakeries and caterers is generally most of them can accommodate more than one wedding on a day. Um, and so there's a little bit more flexibility there. Um, in some of those categories, it's generally the categories that can only do one wedding a day that um, we're feeling the crunch right now. Okay, it, but I also think, you know, being, you know, flowers, they're perishable, they're only to be used for a certain amount of time. And uh, if that is difficult, I would think for florists, but you're saying that, you know, as long as they can schedule a couple, they're generally okay. So we know most people have weddings planned or a lot of uh, people plan in the summer. So are they having difficulty planning things right now? So what's actually beneficial right now is most of our vendors are still working. Um, and they're not executing weddings. So they actually have time to make some of the pre-plans um, for the upcoming summer wedding. So it's a little bit easier right now. Typically our um, vendors are, are kind of ramping up and they're busy with starting their weddings generally this time of year, but because of the stay at home orders, um, they're actually able to kind of facilitate kind of plans for um, the upcoming summer weddings. What we're also recommending for couples too is to kind of um, plan, uh, have a plan B set aside. Um, just in case, um, for whatever reason, we're still a stay-at-home orders, or for instance, uh, my guess is, and industry predictions are, we're not going to go from stay-at-home to having celebrations of 300 people right away. And so there's going to be a gradual um, kind of get back to normal. Um, so couples need to think about kind of what they want to do in case they can't have all their friends and family at the wedding. Um, and so there's a lot of new services that are available as well, which is really great. Um, live streaming of weddings has become really popular. We're actually seeing people um, doing front porch weddings um, hmm. during this time, um, which is really interesting as well because the date was really important to them. What about uh, for people who put down deposits on all you know, the florist and the photographer and, and the venue, I, generally are they getting some of that money back if they have to completely cancel or do they just that money just stays, stays there to be used at a later time? So generally deposits are non-refundable and most vendors are willing to transfer the date. So that seems to be what most couples are opting to do is they still want to get married. They still want to have a celebration that's important to them. They just can't do it right now. So what we're seeing is most vendors are just transferring that uh, initial deposit to a future date. Okay. Well, Matthew Treadle, always good to talk to you from the wedding guys. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, a difficult time, I'm sure, for the business, but they're finding ways 
to, uh, you know, to get through this for sure. Yeah, it's definitely a creative and resilient industry and we're here to help uh, the best that we can. Okay, thank you. For more information, by the way, on weddings and what's happening right now, go to theweddingguys.com.